YouTube here, we've been sneaky making two videos, which I was going to make into one, but the first one was 10 minutes long, so I'll try and make this one 10 minutes long. I'll try and focus on me. I'm important. Yeah. Like I said, last one, like and subscribe, please. It makes a huge difference to how much, if you like it, then it gets pushed up and more, more people see it, which is good for me. Yes. So this is a ghost boy, which I'll be totally honest, I, I did turn it on to make sure it was working. Um, but see, the difference here being this is a, the Super Fuzz Boy from the last video. See when you turn it on, the screen lights up. This is an old school Game Boy, when you turn it on, the screen doesn't light up. There is a green light in there though, it just doesn't seem to light the screen up. Maybe it does if it's dark enough. Um, a different thing, so... Here is... Clean, bridge pickup, orange amp, no, nothing else on it. <laughs> Middle position. Great. So this is my Fuji Gentelli um, FGN. Um, these are stupendous. Uh, keep keep your eye open if you're looking for a Telecaster. Make make a make them makes a Mexican one a Mexican Fender cry really because it's kind of well it's a Japanese one isn't it? Fuji Gen make. Fender Telecasters again. They stopped for years and they made them and they're there like thousands of pounds and it's that's what this is. But it didn't cost thousands of pounds. Yeah, so let's turn this baby on and see what happens. If I can move the camera around a wee bit. As I said with the last one, slight issue with the weight, as in there isn't really any in it. Um, not the weight as in how long it takes to turn on, but just it's, it really does weigh nothing. They are covered in Velcro in the back, so I think that's basically problem solved and it you velcro onto your pedal board and then it's not an issue but I've noticed that it's kind of very light um, so here we go so I mean two knobs that's a speed that's a Make it sound spooky. Make it sound very far away though. It's actually quite a bit quieter than... Taking quite a lot, a lot away, and I'm assuming this selecting now they don't do anything. So both at maximum. See what happens. So I mean, I, I, I'll be jealous. I don't even know what that is. Is is that a like a an a known a known thing? Is that like a tremolo or a chorus? It's kind of got elements of both in it. I can see it sort of. I mean, being called a ghost boy, it's like your haunted house sort of thing. I can sort of see it. Being sort of spooky sounding. Let me turn it off. I 
It does actually sound a little bit... Like, is it bit crushed it's called? Kinda. Oh, you meant to, you meant to... Maybe, maybe it's meant, 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 it's meant as a sort of delay thing. This is an interest, but I don't really know what to do with this. I'm going to stick the first pedal into it first. Maybe not a first pedal. I think I might. I'm just going to turn the amp up here just to get here. I mean, obviously, you can get around these things. Yeah, so the issue is it's quiet. Um, assuming I'm not doing something wrong, but I mean, if, if the other pedal works, it should be working. It seems to be sucking away all the treble. Um, I'm on a bridge pickup and a Telecaster here, and it sounds like I've got a pillow in front of it. So how, how loud the amp is actually when I turn it off. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'm maybe not using it right. Um, not really a fan of this particular pedal. The the Ghost Boy. We bit disappointed if the screen doesn't light up as well. But, um, yeah. So yeah. But, to be, fair, to be fair, I'm not really sure what to do with it. It does have a bit of a... It is quiet. It does make whatever you're doing much quieter. So, I mean, having it... Obviously, you can turn the amp up or have a boost pedal in front of it or a boost pedal or, or some. There's, there's, there's a way around that. But um, I don't really know. It's kind of... Apart from sounding a little bit spooky and a little bit underwater, I honestly don't even know what it is. Is it a chorus? Sort of. Is it a tremolo? Sort of. Is it a flanger? Sort of, I mean, I've got a, another pedal. Is it still sitting up there? There, that, that thing. This, this ridiculous pedal, um, which definitely does what that does, but it does about a billion other things. It's like, you know, if you, all the knobs on this go to the extremes. Every knob, if you've got it at nothing, sounds unusable, and if you've got it at full, sounds unusable. So, like, all four, and it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really a knob twiddly person um so i don't really know what to do with it i mean I'm, I'm sure it's good at what it is probably sort of but it's not for me i don't like it um so it's a it's a thumbs down for me for that one the fuzz pedal the game by fuzz pedal is cool though i like i like it um i just like fuzz pedals i think it's kind of the only pedals i do like really um yeah so an interesting one i kind of was expecting an awful lot to be an awful lot more pure whoa it's, it's, not impressed with it. Not impressed with it. Um, I do, I do, the idea of putting things. I've obviously since I saw the Game Boys, I've been. Why? Why can I put pedals in? You know, it's like there must be. I mean, I, I get the idea of it. I suppose it's quite cool. Um, actually, I remember playing with a band called King Wine, where the guy had a Game Boy and he used it as a sequencer. Somehow, it had a light up screen, but I think he maybe used. He was actually using the inside of the Game Boy. I mean, I think, and and this all you're looking at is they're only using the case. I don't think there's any, um, there's, no, there's no actual Game Boy circuitry used. It's just a basically bought an old Game Boy that doesn't work. It really does make nothing. It's even got a game in it. Um, the on switch doesn't do anything. Can you take the game out? Do I want to take the game out? Uh, I, don't, I don't want to take it out in case it doesn't want to come out. I think it might be screwed in. in the back, the battery cover in the back screwed in. Yeah, so I mean, I find I like the way the screen lights up in this one. I wonder if that one's maybe broken. With the, the screen not lighting up, or it could actually be broken when you turn the knobs. Actually, I noticed that one of the knobs in this one was a bit, the, the B knob's a bit kind of, oh no, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, so, Game Boys, um, I like, yeah, I like Game Boys. I should have, I was going to bring through my, I've got a, a DS, which is, okay, I don't like it technically a Game Boy, but I quite like playing that, it's good fun. The, the game I'm playing is called Grid. It's like a, a really difficult car racing game. It's like, real good, and I've still not um, played. I bought it to go to China, and then ended up cancelled. Go to China. That was a couple of years ago. I bought uh, not Ocarina of Time because it's awesome. Uh, Majora's Mask for it in 3D, um, but I'm not. I'm saving a special occasion to play that. Um, yeah. So. Rock on! Cheers for that. Um, the reason I'm doing these videos today is because I've got a big Aaron. He's got went the guitar safari overseas yesterday, and the video's fucking long as hell. So I'm going to have to do editing and stuff on it. And rather than mess about, try and rush it, get it done, and then try and get it rendered, it's called, and then then try and upload it onto YouTube, and then wait for YouTube to check it, and then wait for it to process. And I'll just do that. I'll stick out a couple of videos tonight. I'll probably just stick. Um, I was kind of expecting that one to be good as that one so I'll, I'll probably just put these two videos out one after the other tonight um my super secret trick of trying to get two i'll get twice as many views if i put out two 10 minute videos instead of putting out one 20 minute video love y'all cheers